Hi Hexagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we are going to discuss cross-section analysis. First, navigate to the Analysis tab, and then select Create Cross-Sections. Inside of this, the software will now prompt you to select your cross-section nominal. I'm going to select my CAD model. Next, a request for my cloud data. I'm going to select my cloud one. Press enter. And then now I have the ability to select planes that were previously extracted, or I can add additional planes inside of the cross section properties. I'm going to select the plane right here, and I'll select the plane right here, and I'll do one on the side. I'll press enter. And then now we will see those cross-section cuts appear in the properties. Next, I have the ability to change my section thickness, my voxel size, my max point count. I can view the selected cross-section by clicking the eyeball. I can create offset copies by selecting the cross-section, clicking Make Offset Copies, reversing this information, we can see those are located right there. I can increase the spacing of these. Once I accept, click OK. Those will be automatically shown in the main graphical view. Next, I can also add new cut planes. And this gives me the ability to use the current working frame. Or I can select from CAD model. So if I say current working frame, I can say in my, let's say my Y, we'll see that automatically update like that. Or I can say in my Z. Give it a start and offset, I can say 10. So let's say I wanna make one copy. And I'm gonna click okay. I can change the size of the magnification of my vectors. I can increase those and I can decrease those. It's going to be a little bit easier to see once we get into each individual cross section cut. And I can also change the colorization. Say so I want to change my tolerance to 0.2. Once you are complete, simply left click on the cross section cut and then click View Selected Cross Section. To see additional cross-section cuts, you can easily navigate by using the arrows, or you can simply select the cross-section cut from the drop-down view located here. Next, inside of here, I have the ability to go to my Features tab, select Extract Features from Cross-Section Cut, and now I can physically select features from my cross-section cut that have some deviation being displayed with the vectors. If you are unsure about an area, you can easily click on the cloud slice, which will show you where the cloud data has been extracted from your cloud data in relation to the CAD model. Next, I can go to reporting and I can select create regional callouts and I can physically select different callouts located in my cross-section cut. Once I'm complete, I can press enter. I can also add dimensions. I'm going to click on a linear dimension. So I want to know the dimension from this line to this circle. We can see that appears now in the cross-section cut. You can also add this to a drawing. So under the reporting tab, click on create New Quick Drawing. You can modify the document settings located here, whether if you wanted a full page or a figure, standard, portrait or landscaped. Once you're selected those, press OK. And then now you have the additional ability to modify the cross-section cut more here. Once you are complete, click on the X, and then now you go back to the cross-section cut view. 
If you're finished making your modifications for the cross-section cuts, simply click on Back to Main View. And this will lead back to the main graphical view of the software. Thank you for watching, and we hope you were inspired.